Texas Tech Red Raiders. Uh, pretty good hire, pretty good season last year. Everything went well. Uh, it was a kind of shocking to see that they fired Matt Wells when he was still 5-3, and three, and the team looked pretty good. You could tell the direction that the team was going last year because once Tyler Shuck got hurt, then it was, yeah, you know, we'll figure it out. Now, they were able to rally the troops and get a couple more wins at the end of the season and a big one over Mike Leach, of course. You know that the admins loved that. But Joey McGuire comes into a team that went 7-6 and six last year. They were 6-6 six and six in the regular season. Their postgame win expectancy was 5.81 and 6.19. Let's go on and pull it up on the screen here so that you get an idea of what I'm looking at. The offense was pretty awesome last year. Number 27 in PPA per drive. Number 33 rushing success rate. Number 22 passing success rate. They were awesome. Uh, the offensive coordinator, Zach Kitley, takes over here. But without all of his Houston Baptist transfers... So you got to wonder, are there going to be some growing pains? Does he have the right fit as far as personnel goes? Uh, this team, as far as returning production goes, number 95 overall in the country, 56% returning overall on the team, 57% returning on offense, 56% per, uh, returning on defense. And the roster strength is pretty good. Defense is actually the stronger side of the ball right now, but they do have playmakers on that offense. Like, this is a team that I, I think could shock some people. Now, obviously, I'll go on a spoiler alert. I've got them making a bowl game. Um, Tyler Shuck is back after suffering an injury in game four last year. His numbers were great. Like He's going to compete with the quarterback, Donovan Smith. It's different styles here somewhat. Donovan Smith, uh, Sonny Cumbie let him throw the ball like crazy last year. I mean, it, like 27% of his passes were, were downfield. Like it's, it's really interesting what they did. On offense, uh, Taj Brooks had a breakout year. How much is Kitley going to use running backs this year? He didn't use them a ton at Western Kentucky. I would imagine he's going to try and fit the scheme a little more to personnel. I mean, they're loaded with tight ends, etc. Wide receiver Price leads a talented core here. Two offensive linemen with plus uh, with plus eight hundred snaps here. You do have four transfers coming in on the offensive line. Uh, the offense is going to be interesting to watch. This is one of my more interesting teams. And whenever I do a segment about that, that's something that I'm certainly going to talk about is how we don't really know what to expect from this team. Based on the way that the team was built and what Kitley likes to do, maybe what McGuire likes to do, etc., it's going to be interesting. Uh, as far as defense goes, Tim DeRuiter is the new defense coordinator. He was at Oregon as the D.C. in 2021. He was at Cal for four years before that. Tyree Wilson and the defense tackle Hutchings are back to uh, lead the defensive line here. Talent is there uh, at linebacker with Pearson and Merriweather. Like, they got dudes. Uh, secondary was a weakness last year. Number 110 in passing PPA. Number 106 in success rate allowed. And they returned three players with 740-plus snaps. I mean, there's talent, but it did not gel really well last year. Like, that's just kind of a, a problem. Uh, you look at this defense, I mean, number 108. In PPA per drive, like it, it's, I don't, I don't fully get it. I don't understand exactly what happened, um, but I mean, you were able to see it. Like they, they were able to score on Texas. They scored thirty five on Texas, and they gave up seventy. Like <laughs> it just happened over and over and over again. Um, this team, you know, they're projected favorites in four games, but they got ten toss ups, and those are those toss ups are games that are projected to be within one score, so within eight points. Joey McGuire was kind of handpicked to lead this program. And while Wells was still the quarterback, I mean, that was going on. I mean, because he left in the middle of the year from Baylor. Like, what are the expectations for McGuire? And we'll talk more on the show on Thursday about Texas Tech's $200 million football investment uh, for their facilities and whatnot. I mean, I, I think that McGuire's a great hire, but you fired a coach that was five and three. And looking to make the first bowl game in, in quite some time, I I gotta wonder, you know, what what are you expecting out of McGuire? Like, it, what is the ceiling on this program, et cetera? Especially with the changes in the conference coming up over the next few years. Uh, figuring out quarterback under Kitley is going to be the key. Like, Shuck has the arm. Smith tries to use his legs a little more. He had fifty six rushes, and that was only two point seven seven yards per rush. But he ran a little more. Uh, the wide receiver talent is there for them to do stuff. Uh, they, I think, could lean on tight ends a little bit this year, but you know, maybe maybe the short to intermediate game 
is where they're going to go much more than what they did towards the end of last season where they just let it fly, right? Uh, DeRuiter hasn't called a defense for a team whose offense runs a ton of plays in a long time. Uh, Oregon was number 78 in offensive plays per game. Western Kentucky was number 14. So, you know, and and when DeRuiter was at Cal, uh, his, and we, we kind of saw something like this, right? Jay Bateman was the defensive coordinator at uh, at Army before he went over to North Carolina. And he paired with Phil Longo. And his defense was not really set up to be able to run as many plays as Phil Longo's offense was on the other side. So when Phil Longo's bunch would go three and out or four and out in like a minute, and then Bateman's bunch had to be back out on the field, I mean, that defense would get gassed pretty easily. What should we expect from... Tim DeRuiter's defense if Zach Kittley is going to go out there and run stuff very quickly, right? A lot of pace. Uh, I'm I'm very interested. Very interested in that, for sure. Uh, as far as the schedule goes, uh, projected favorites in four games, 10 toss-ups. Uh, their win total is 5.5. It's juiced to the under. And conference odds are plus 4,000. I'm not... I don't expect this much to win the conference in Joey McGuire's first year. Obviously, you never know, but... Regardless, uh, the win total is what I'm going to look at here. I I like the over. I like them at 6-6. Six and six. Uh, I think they're going to beat Houston. I think they're going to beat Murray State in, in non-conference. I think they'll lose at NC State. But after that, I've got a win over Oklahoma State. I've got a win over West Virginia. I've got a win over Baylor and a win over TCU. And I actually think this team could be the one team to lose to Kansas. <laughs> I know that the Red Raiders fans don't want to hear that, but... I I think this team is good enough to get to a bowl game. I mean, that could, I could see them anywhere from five and seven up to maybe even eight and four. I'm going to rest at six and six, but I would love to know what you guys think. I'd leave it in the comments over on YouTube. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. But uh, yeah, I like the hire a lot. I like Joey McGuire. I I want to see what they're going to do on offense and really on defense. I just want to see what this team looks like. That's my biggest thing. I want to see them. Because I, I'm so curious. Just curious about Texas Tech. But yeah, 6-6 six and six seems about right. Bowl game for Joey in his first year. I uh, I like that bunch. I like them quite a bit. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures. Or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.